Good morning, everyone. Brand new Deadlight Field for my video. And yeah, Kiki's here. This thing is gonna get some love today. And as you saw in the previous video, I have a whole lot of parts here. And I can't wait to finally have new brakes in this thing because this car just drives ridiculously right now. And yeah, I'm very excited for today. I didn't sleep very well, but. I'm excited to uh, start working on it again and this uh, should be here in I think an hour or two or something so so yeah pretty excited exciting day and we are gonna start out with uh, lifting the car up just simple um, and then I think I'm gonna start out with taking my front uh, torsion bar stabilizer uh, out of there and yeah changing those tiny rubbers on there these with those uh, new metal caps and then the, the first part is done after that i think i will um, first drain my coolant and my coolant is actually just water right now and i picked up two cans of uh, coolant yesterday so my car will be protected against the weather we are getting here right now because last night it almost went below uh, zero degrees and yeah then it starts uh, freezing so that's not very good but yeah let's uh, set up the camera and this is just going to be uh, a simple day in the life of So guys, we have one side loose, as you can see right here. This is one of the end links of your system. And this thing has two of these bushes, bushings. And these are very stiff. But just to show you guys, this is your sway bar and this is positioned like this. So what I have is these rubbers. These rubber bushings over here are sitting on a metal cap, as you can see. So what I got here are four metal caps. This is one, two, and the other side it's three and four. And I got these. These are polyurethane bushings. These are uh, more durable and also a bit stiffer than original, but this will last forever. And that's because rubber is actually a um, nature product. So this is not something um, artificial, like this is some kind of foam. Um, and yeah, they made it, polyurethane is called. And this is a natural product. So this will dry out, it will go bad over time so yeah we need to replace this and that's why we are doing this so let's uh, go on to the other side as you can see here this one is still in position it's over here and it goes up to here and then onto your bar so what we're gonna do we're gonna take this bar out we're gonna take both of those links out we're gonna swap out those bushings and then we are done we can uh, paint this one i think i'm gonna do that i'm gonna think i'm gonna, gonna paint it white in the color of the car just because it's a cool addition to this car and yeah after this is done we will swap out these brake routers and let every uh, little bit of brake fluid out of the system and then we can go on with the drive shaft or maybe we will do the, do the, do the, do the drive shaft before this we'll see so let's go on to video
And that was Wissa. He is getting some food for us. And, and sadly, my camera died on me. So that's why um, it's such a jump in this video. But it's a perfect day because, um, like you saw earlier, I took my uh, front sway bar out and I painted that white because white, white Volvo. And that thing looks perfectly. So, uh, and it works. So I have my new bushings installed, I have my new brakes already installed and this already helped me by de airing the brakes so we bleed the system and everything seems to work perfectly right now so I'm just so happy <laughs> because this car was a pain in the ass for the last month and yeah I am happy that everything works right now so let's show you guys so look at this yeah my brake disc is very greasy right now but I'm gonna clean it and I'm gonna paint them but yeah look at this new brake discs everything looks just perfectly it's just awesome over there we have our sway bar our new polyurethane bushings everything looks stunning and we get to the front and sorry for all the water on the floor I'm changing my coolant and I found out that my uh, complete cooling system is actually turned uh, red and that's I think because of some rust in the system and I was using normal water it's never a good thing to use but I uh, was doing some maintenance on the car with my uh, water pump and my timing belt and I didn't have any coolant so I just put some water in it but yeah it's colder it's getting colder in here so I changed it now as you can see over there it's a bit dirty over there right now so I'm gonna clean it but that's my new sway bar it looks amazing i think it's very cool to have a white sway bar on a white volvo it just makes it even more complete the other side also my new brake discs new sway bar new bushings end links everything are perfectly one end link well, end link is a bit it's like it looks like this it's a bit crooked but yeah maybe i will change that in a minute uh, or in a week or i don't know over here already the new caliper from last time the new brake discs and over here the old caliper and the new brake discs so yeah that's that's just getting we are getting there <laughs> i'm so happy so yeah this is the engine of course and this hose as you can see in here it's it's a bit red so maybe i can show it like this look at this that's a red gill so what I'm doing I'm changing every little bit of water in the engine for fresh new coolant I've got 10 liters so that should be enough but yeah I'm also just uh, freshening up the engine bay a bit cleaning out my uh, coolant tank and as you can see in there it's 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 very red in there I don't know how I can get that out, but I will try to find a way. But yeah, it's 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 getting there. So the things we need to do still are my complete drivetrain and painting my calipers. And after that's done, the wheels can go back on and we can test drive it for a minute to see if the brakes are working. And after that's done, the wheels can come, can, come off again and we can put these in because this is my first priority right now because these are just completely shut in the back and yeah when this is done then the only thing left to do for us is to install this package so the new uh, links the new cross the cross pieces and that center bearing so yeah we'll see I don't know if we, we, we get to that today it's I don't know how late it is it's oh it's 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 331 so yeah we'll see but the car is uh, it's getting there so yeah let's uh, get back to it and put on time lapse again and change out my coolant then you're gonna paint the great brake calipers we're just, just gonna do it by hand i got some uh, brushes over here the nice white brushes so that will be an easy job and then uh, yeah we're almost there guys almost and i'm so happy because then i can finally start worrying about other things like the rust and like my interior and in my new job I might have found some new seats I was looking for 
um, and all the type of leather uh, I think it's Recaro or Shiel um, seats and those things are amazing they're like they have all those little bands of uh, leather and that's just like an 80s style and they're black I have a blue interior but they are 80s style black and I think I can match it I have black uh, black carpeting black floor mats I mean the carpet is, well, is, is blue but um, maybe I will change my carpet out for black carpet and then my black seats will match my black carpet and my uh, door panels will match my dash and I'll just make it one piece but I will ask if I can buy those from my new boss because he has them in storage and they're full of old uh, purse poop so that's not a good thing for seats so I really hope I can get them because I'm getting a lot of back pain in my original 40 seat because those things have those metal straps in the back and they they are both broken in my uh, driver's seat so Pascal my girlfriend she's fine she has a perfect seat but my driver's seat is just shut so let's uh, try to buy those seats next week or any time soon and then uh, this car will be finally finally starting to come together and I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in on this video because it makes me so happy to make these videos for you guys and to make this content and yeah hit that subscribe button and let's go on with the video So we used the drill to drill out the rubber piece and then we found out that we need to cut out this thing and this thing is so 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 stuck in there. So I'm using a Dremel, Dremel how you want to call it, this thing with a tiny cutting disc to yeah to make this work but it's such a pain in the ass. <laughs> so one is down and which is currently mounting it. And then we are almost done. Brakes are done, calipers are painted. Well, the one on that side is, all, is not painted anymore because we were just rubbing all over it. But yeah, we're finally done for today. So let's uh, go on, let's cut this one out and then uh, call it a day. So guys, it's actually Monday right now and I'm currently editing this video. Um, the difficult thing about today is I got a new job as most of you guys know. And today I had an annual grinder hit my uh, index finger. And yeah, my index finger is looking like this right now. So I'm editing this video right now and yeah, this is pretty, pretty bad. So not very happy about it, but yeah, I'm not used to an angle grinder without a protective guard on it. And yeah, I had it in my hand and it slipped and yeah, that's, uh, that's it. So it was a uh, grinding disc, so not a cutting disc. So that's a uh, good thing. But yeah, it's not a uh, perfect thing to hit your finger. So I got two stitches in it and yeah, it's uh, not a very good day. But all in all, my car has been done Saturday and I know it's a bit of a weird video to watch but it's a it was an awesome day and we had um, I did the front um, sway bar uh, bushings I painted my front sway bar I did my front brakes we de-aired my complete brake system with uh, the new air we uh painted my brake calipers although they are not drying while well, the paint can is saying that it's quick drying paint but what the hell um we also tried to put those new polyurethane bushings in my upper uh control arms on the back but that didn't work out as we wanted to because we only could we only uh, got the upper one loose so that uh, bar is connected to your car on the top and to your oh, my arm is very dirty <laughs> but that thing is connected to their car on the top and uh, at the bottom is connected to your rear axle and that bolt was just uh, rusted into that bushing into the metal piece of your rubber bushing so that's something for another day we did swap out the top uh, bushings with which which was a very pain in the ass because as you saw in the video 
those bushings are stuck inside of that arm and it's a metal shell with a rubber inner inner piece and then a metal uh, center piece where the bolt goes through and that outside uh, edge was just completely rusted through and rusted uh, inside of that arm so i use my dremel i use my tiny little cutting disc to make a uh, like a notch in there and then used a old chisel and a screwdriver to get it out but it worked and we put those new polyurethane bushings in there and it drives very much better than it uh, did before so i can't wait to change out those other bushings and including all the bushings on the lower side of the lower control arms and everything else and that will make my car handle even better so that's what we're gonna do in in the upcoming weeks i hope i'm also trying to get some new seats for my car because i have a um, really bad uh, back pain of my seats that are in the car now my original blue seats so that's something for another video but this was it for today so yeah my sad little finger and for the guys that want to see the stitches i will drop a video here in three two one now so yeah if you didn't want to see those stitches you could have had the time to look away but yeah that was it for today i want to thank you guys so much for watching please hit that subscribe button and wish me luck for my sad little finger and yeah i will see you guys on the next video and in the next video we will be um refurbishing so painting my complete um, drive shaft from front to back including replacing the center bearing and the three um cross clutch things the those are connecting your drive shafts to each other and stuff so check out that video that will be live i think friday evening or something so i will see you guys in that video hit, hit that subscribe hit that like and yeah that was it for today bye bye